Hi there. Now, in part B of this question, we're asked to find the speed of the ball as it reaches the ground. I've also given you the answer to part A, where we had to find the greatest height that the ball rose above A, which was 22.5 metres. So if you'd like to have a go at this question, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So how would we do this? Well, the ball goes from A, projected upwards, reaches its maximum height, comes to instantaneous rest, and then travels back down to hit the ground. Well, just before it hits the ground, we'll mark it in there, it's moving with a speed of V meters per second downwards. OK, we'll mark that in as V. And that's what we've got to find. So to do this, since we've got H here, one of the quickest ways will be just to consider the motion from the top here, B, to the bottom here. Let's label that as C. So to consider the motion B to C. I'll just put that there. So we build up a SUVAT-based equation. So we'll just have that as S, U, V, A and T. And because we're starting up here, going downwards, I'm going to select the positive sense to be downwards. So when it comes to S, the displacement, it's going to be H, which is 22.5, plus the 1.5. That's going to give us 24. U, the initial velocity, well, it was an instantaneous rest at this point, so that's going to be 0. V we're trying to find. A, the acceleration due to gravity, is 9.8. It's in the positive sense. And T, well, we're not after T. So it's just a question of connecting these variables. And the equation that I'm going to use, OK, I'll just write here, using, will be V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So we've got... U is 0, so that 0 squared, that's 0, so I can leave that out. So we've just got 2 times A, A being 9.8, times S being 24. And if you work this through, you'll end up with 470.4. And to get V, we've got to take the square root. So V would be equal to the square root of 470.4. Now normally when you square root a value it would normally be plus or minus. We certainly don't take the negative value because you'll notice that V is going downwards in the positive sense here. So we're just concerned with a positive value and that positive value is 21.688 and so on. So therefore the speed has to be 21.7 meters per second if we give it to either three significant figures or one decimal place, one dp for short. 